morning, good evening, good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Um, I thought I would bring to you a uni vlog seeing as why is this lighting so bad? There we go. Um, seeing as it's coming up to final exams and I've got essays due left, right and centre and I've got class tests left, right and centre. So I thought that I would plan them with you and you guys can enjoy a bit of a uni vlog what I'm doing to prepare for exams. So let's go with my intro. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is plan a to-do list of all of the exams that I have and all of the tests that I have coming up. So, let's get my calendar up. Okay, so that's me written down all of my exams as you can see. Can you see? There you go, you can see there. Um, so, what I'm gonna do from there is I'm gonna plan in my little diary when I'm gonna do what. It's quite good that the French is up here and then the Spanish is down here, so at least I've got the time to kind of sit and mull over it and I'm not gonna get confused between languages. And then after that, we'll literally just be Spanish revision. So, um, I'm happy that I'm planned. Um, Thursday's done. Um, so today I'm just going to sit and blast out my French essay and you guys can sit and come along with me. I'm aware it's probably not going to be that bo that interesting, but I do think that it might be worthwhile for you guys to know and document what it's like to be stressed out about tests and deadlines coming up. And I am quite an organised person, so I am going to submit the essay early. A lot of people would leave it till last minute, but obviously I've got all those tests around the deadline. I never submit things last minute anyway. But I do feel like I'm kind of behind on this essay because we've only just finished studying what it's on. So the question that I'm doing is on Putain de Guerre, which is a kind of a comic kind of style on the World War One, the World War One on World War One. Um, and the essay question is with detailed and relevant re reference to the bond dessinée, analyse the ways in which Tardy uses putain de guerre as a means of commenting on inequality in relation to the lives of those who fought in World War One. And I think that's quite an interesting question. So I am having fun with it, but I'm also struggling for motivation with essays just because of the amount of tests I've got. And I'm literally just like, I can't be bothered. So, it's just a case of sitting and getting it done. I've got 547 words already. So let's go. Okay, so that's me at 730 words, um, excluding references. So um, I'm going to leave it here, come back to it. Um, I have a meeting at half 12 and it is 11, but I want to get some food now just because I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it and come back to it. I do think I'm making really good progress with this, but don't stress me out essays. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best essay writer. Um, especially because a level i had to write my essays in spanish and french and in french and spanish because we're first year they're not expecting us to write it in and they don't want us to write it in spanish and french so i'm actually struggling because it's in english if it was in spanish and french i don't think i would struggle as much <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous but there is a logic to it so I'm a hot mess and I'm going to take my hot messiness and go and make some soup because um, that's what I'm feeling and that's what I've got in and then I'm going to go to my meeting, do a food shop on the way back and then resume with the uni work process. So um, because it's kind of week, the last week of teaching, um, there isn't very much planning, prepping to do for seminars because most of them are in class tests 
and uh, the ones which aren't are kind of cancelled. So um, I'm gonna go make my soup and, and then I'll see where we are and you guys can come with me. Okay, so I've just had the soup. What is it with the lighting at the moment? There we go. Um, so I've just had my soup and pretty much just downed it. So I got an hour before I need to leave to go into town. So I need to get money out and I also need to get an envelope because I need to post something. So I'm going to head to the atrium now and get money out and what was the other thing? Oh, get an envelope. Um, <laughs> so that I can do that when I'm in town because I might as well if I'm already in town so you guys can come with me to do that Okay, so that's me just back from uh, my meeting and also the shops and I bought a lot of fruit so that I can make juices um, I've been really loving my juices lately so I want to keep up with that and I also just bought some bits and bobs for meals and things and I also got some fake flowers um, and a vase, vase, whatever you want to call it um, which were reduced I the vase and the flowers were separate so I got to make it myself but it was reduced so um that's just sat on my windowsill I'll show you that now so on my windowsill I have a reed diffuser um this little fake plant which was from next which I absolutely love it's a little elephant and then what I did was I got this vase reduced excuse the protein shaker these rocks I got from pets at home now the flowers were too long so I need to get a little bit more rocks just to cover the stems that I had to bend but these are the flowers which I'm absolutely in love with usually unusual for me to go for pink but I absolutely love that and then obviously I've got my two little fake plants from next there, my Spanish lady and the books which I want to read. So I'd say it was a fairly successful trip. So I need to, I don't know what is going on with the brightness in, on this camera at the moment. Um, it's kind of messing me around. But now that that is all done, it's time to get back to work. I'm going to have an apple and then I'm just going to get on with this essay and just blast it out because otherwise I'm just going to take my time and not get it done so we're just going to get it done so it's out the way so I can revise my tests <sighs> the stress is real the stress is very much real at the moment just because I have so much all at one go um so yeah let's go with that I'm at about 780 words, 800 words. So what I'm gonna do now is read through these articles that I've printed off and see if there's anything I can add because I'm about halfway through the essay but rather than me just rambling on, I'm gonna try and consult other sources if that makes sense, just to kind of get more ideas. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to read these. They're all in French, which is actually good for me because it's kind of French revision. But, so it means it'll take it a little bit longer, but that's okay. That's okay. We're not worried about that. Um, this one is tiny, so I'm not going to start with this one because the font is too small for me. Um, so yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so this article wasn't overly helpful, which is a bit of annoying, seeing as I've just read it all. Um, well, I read most of it, then got bored. So that one is not really that relevant, which is annoying, so that one can go in the bin. 
I don't know why I printed that off because when I read it online I thought it applied to it but clearly I was just wrong and delusional. <laughs> Okay, so that one was quite interesting actually and it was quite useful so I've actually taken something from that one in the sense of the chrono chron chrono chronology chron chronologic one eternity later the, the co comics like in chronological order let's go with that um, so I'm gonna actually put that into a, kind of like a plan with an example because I actually think that's really important to comment on within my essay, so I'm going to do that now. A little baby guinea pig with anxiety, honey. I love how relaxed you are. <laughs> he is so terrified. Every noise, he's... Okay, I don't know what I was doing with my hands there. Um, that is me nearly finished. I've got about 600 words left to do, um, which includes referencing. So realistically, it's only about 500 words left. But what I want to do now is I want to take a break from it um, because I feel like I've been on it all day. So um, I want to leave the rest till tomorrow and then I'm gonna start on some revision now. So I think I'll start with French grammar, just because that's my first test, so it seems logical to do that. So I'm gonna revise French grammar now. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break and make some dinner though, um, just because I'm getting hungry and I get grumpy when I'm hungry and I can't concentrate when I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go make some dinner and have a little bit of a break because I've been working now for about an hour and a half straight. Yeah, I'm gonna go make my dinner and watch a bit of YouTube, I think. Okay, so that's me done for the day. Um, I am gonna go to the library tomorrow just to get out of my flat to work. Um, and you guys can probably come along with me because I feel like I've not done much today for it to, cons con like to make up for a vlog. So you guys can come along to the library with me tomorrow. I think I'm just going to finish this essay tomorrow, revise French and maybe go over the book. But it depends on how much time I've got tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow with hopefully some better lighting because the lighting's not been loving me today. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, um... It is 25 past 7 and I'm just about to go to the gym before, just to wake myself up and get in a workout before I go to the library. So I am wearing shorts. <laughs> the problem is the walk to the gym. Now I find the gym here kind of warm. Um, I don't know if it's because my gym back home is really cold or if it is a warm gym or if it's just me. But... I find this gym really warm, so I am wearing vest top and shorts. Um, in the summer, I'm literally going to be in sports bra and shorts, I can just tell. But I'm about to go, I'm just going to get in a leg workout. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, who are new to this channel, um, I have just come back after glandular fever, so um, I'm kind of easing back into training, so this will be fairly light even though I'm gonna find it heavy because I've literally sat and done nothing for like a month. So I'm gonna head to the gym. I am gonna try and do some assisted pull-ups as well just because I like, I'm trying to get my pull-up back. I've just had an apple and had some caffeine. So I'm gonna go now and speak to you guys later and then have a smoothie afterwards because I want to try and do it as fast as, as I can because I, I'm literally the fluffiest I've ever been. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the gym and I'll speak to you guys later.
So now I've had a smoothie which had protein powder in it just to try and keep me going. Um, I've packed my bag ready for going to the library because yesterday I didn't get that much done. So my theory is if I go to the library I have to get work done because there's no distractions. Um, and I'm also going to take you guys with me to show you the uni library. I feel like that would be a useful thing if you're looking at studying at Stirling. Um, oh, I drank um, a litre in the... Let me sort the lighting. Um, I drank a litre in the gym, which I'm happy with. Today's goal is to drink at least three. So I'm going to take my big juice bottle with me, which is a litre and a half, to get me to two and a half, hopefully. Um... And just keep sipping on juice as I'm working because I feel like I'm carrying a lot of water weight and I'm also very dehydrated at the moment so I need to sort that out and yeah I think that's it that's my little ramble um so yeah let's go to the library <laughs> Okay, so that's me back from the library and I am currently lying in the sunny spot reading a book pretending that I'm abroad <laughs> what it's come to um, so I've taken full advantage of the fact that there is sun shining through my window and I am lying in the sunny spot in, on my bed reading a book so I mean it's been a tough day <laughs> <laughs> no but I'm very happy to have got that French essay done submitted <laughs> um, and I also revised for my French test on Monday so that is all of my revision done until Monday <laughs> and then I need to revise for my test on Tuesday although I've started revising for that so technically it's only just to go over it but the stress is real so I'm going to take the rest of the day just to chill and then tomorrow I'm spending time with my family and then the real hard work starts so you guys can enjoy the rest of the day with me um I'm not just going to stop the vlog just because I've finished working I want to show you guys the real the real life stuff of trying to chill after finishing an essay and doing so much work I don't know what's going on with this vest at the moment do you know what it's I've got a sports bra on so it's not like I need to hide anything but um I'm just gonna sit in the sun and read a book this book what am I reading I have just started the upside of unrequited just finished notes on a nervous planet by Matt Haig it was a really good book I had tried to film books I read in March but the files have just become corrupt and I don't have them backed up so yeah that that video is gone but you guys pretty much know what I read anyway because I vlogged it so I'm gonna line the sun and read this and pretend I'm in Hawaii or something <laughs> I wish nope instead I'm just in Scotland two hours late Megan is a shark in the water is there Aye. oh no wait that's Scottish isn't it <laughs> Megan what? I'm from Leeds. Don't sound like it. I am from the. From the. <laughs> from the. From the. I. From the. I can't. I can't think of more sentences to be honest. <laughs> Megan. What? 
you can walk. Walk. What? You can walk. What? No, you can. Ah, you've been on that soda again. You sh you shouldn't be having that. It's bad for your teeth. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, um, so last night I kind of just read my book, chilled out and then finished the jigsaw with Megan and yeah it was a really nice night to be fair, I really needed a chill night after the stressful day that I had. So I hope this was insightful in some way for you guys, if, especially if you're looking at coming to Sterling I guess it would be useful to know what it's like to go into the library or procrastinate. <laughs> So I forgot to say that I had my lunch at the Union so I literally just hopped out the library, went to get my lunch, had my lunch then went back to the library which is really handy. Um, so thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Click the subscribe button to join the family. So bye, love you!